Every little thing she does is Magitek. Nice. Sid would have you assist in the repair of the Magitek armor. Does anybody else think of... I think it was actually Bewitched. It was either commercials of Bewitched or uh, um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. They used to use that. Every little thing she does is magic. I mean, I'm sure they used it for a ton of other shows, but for me, I think of either Bewitched or Sabrina. The repairs are proceeding apace. It shouldn't be long now before Biggs and Wedge complete their work. There is, however, one small problem. As you may recall, the Machina's servo mechanism was uh, discovered to be faulty. Wedge has subsequently ascertained that the Magitek core w which drives it is worn beyond use. Such cores are rather fragile devices which must be replaced at regular intervals. Thanks to the negligence of our Imperial colleagues, however, the one used in this reefer, reaper was long overdue. Alas, we do not have access to a ready replacement here in Mordona, but all is not lost. Wedge thinks uh, he may have identified an alternative solution. What, go into Imperial territory, take one out of a working one? Uh, <laughs> go and see him, would you? He'll explain the details to you. As I believe the Chief has already informed you, the Magitek Corps is worn beyond use. We need to find a replacement. I thought about having you appropriate more Reapers, but even if the Dunderhead Maintenance Engineers of Castrum Sentry had remembered to replace their cores, we would risk arousing Imperial suspicion. But do not despair, for I believe there is a solution. A substitute the Magitek to substitute the Magitek core with a mammoth heart. Hmm. In case you don't know, a mammoth heart can be used to grant to grant sentience to an automaton. Uh, by my reckoning, such a device should be more than capable of regulating the armor's servo mechanism. We'll just need to make some minor modifications to the housing unit. I've already placed an order for a first-rate Mammoth Heart with the Goldsmiths Guild. All that remains is for someone to go to Ulda and collect it. Oh, and to pay for it. <laughs> Did I mention how much they cost? No? Well, they typically cost somewhere in the order of, um... I hope you don't mind footing the bill. It's for a good cause. Hmm. Ever seen an ironworks? Oh, I think that's what he said before. I keep trying. I keep trying just to see if they update it, have something new to, to say. And they don't. They never do. I want to say that, like, in Heaven's Word and beyond, though, they will have something to say different before and after you pick up a quest. But I still could be wrong. Hello there. Come to collect a mammoth heart, you say? Then you must be here on behalf of Garland Ironworks. I've taken the liberty of... Picking the finest example we have. A heart fit for a prince among mammoths. Payment? Oh, that won't be necessary. The heart is for Master Alphano's personal use, after all. He notified us a short while ago that his servant would be coming to collect it. Tender in years, though he may be, Master Alphano has been a benefactor of ours since my predecessor's time. The Goldsmiths Guild wouldn't dream of charging him. But here's the mammoth heart. May it serve you well. Oh, and please do pass on my compliments to your master. Alphano, you... 
I mean, good thinking, but... I mean, I guess I, I really can't fault him. Like, it's not that big a deal, you know, that he has me playing that part to get some some free stuff. Do you have something to say, Alfie? Nope, just the same old crap. You couldn't even say something different this time. Want to go in? It hardly needs saying, but try not to be seen. Do you have the mammoth heart? I, I, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see if it works. The clockwork soul of a mammoth. Hurrah! Thank you so much. <gasps> but this, this is magnificent. You must have cost an emperor's ransom. Free of charge, courtesy of Alphano. Coming from an influential family certainly has its advantages. But without further ado, let's give it a try. I've already modified the housing unit, so it should slot right in. There, she's ready. Magitek armor engaged. Or not. Ha ha ha. She just needs a, a love a loving tap, I'll wager. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's she's alive. Let's take her outside and put her through her paces. Lavenza, would you care to do the honors? This is the Ironworks' first major project since my return. I mean to see that it's a success. I've overseen a hundred such tests, but they, but they still play hells with my nerves. And that's without the chief watching. Hop into the pilot seat. We'll begin as soon as you're ready. First, I'd like you to try climbing that tangle of crystal. First, I'd, I'd like you to try climbing that tangle of crystals yonder. As far up as you can go, if you please. Oh, and if for some reason you need to dismount, simply come back here and we'll start again. I'm assuming I get to shoot the guns later. No anomalous movements evident from either leg. Good. Next, jump back down and then sprint north quick as you can. Well, there's no sprint button. No turbo boost, so I guess this is as fast as I can. Leg joints, uh, leg joints absorbed all impact without incident. Excellent. Please make your way back, Lavenza. The torso remains stable during vigorous motion. Excellent. 
And that concludes our test. Thank you for your cooperation. Here's a summary of my findings. The drivetrain is in sound condition. With some fine tuning, we can expect a noticeable improvement in performance. As for the servo mechanism, I'm afraid it's not nearly as responsive as it should be, and I'm at a loss to explain why. The Mammoth Heart is in pristine condition and should be installed correctly. Perhaps its inner workings are simply too different to operate harmoniously with the armor's other mechanisms. Whereas Magitek cores serve only to conduct impulses, Mammoth Hearts enable uh, automata to process the information collected by their sensors as feel ah, feelings. Maybe she just doesn't feel like feel like part of the team, in which case we should all do our best to make her feel welcome. Hmm. Sorry, I just reread it. it was... Okay, so we need to now welcome the... <laughs> Give it a hug. Click. Uh-oh, now what's this about? Come on, everyone, let's give Maggie, that's right, here a warm welcome. Really make her feel at home. I take it Wedge's suggestion has given you pause? Well, I don't blame you. The lad does have some rather unorthodox ideas. Still, unorthodoxy does not give give us still unorthodoxy did not give us language, tools, clothes, or machina. Short of a short of a better idea, I don't suppose it would hurt to try. Oh unorthodox idea and still orthodoxy did not give us those. Dude, my reading is just not right. Not right tonight. Okay, another one of these. Daft as it felt, I gave it my best. I've welcomed myself to a bloody standstill. What what were you expecting to do anyway? Bob us a curtsy? No doubt you're wondering why the servo mechanism is so important as to warrant this silliness. Without it, the pilot would be required to control the armor's every movement manually. This would be an onerous task at the best of times, and wholly impractical during battle. Using a mammoth heart in place of the Warren Magitech core seemed a promising solution. Alas, the device does not appear to be compatible with Garlean technology. Wedge, are there no other ways we might demonstrate our appreciation to our friend here? I'm at my wit's end, Chief. She just doesn't seem convinced. We could try a little dance, perhaps, or cheer our heads off. Imperials, they've come for the armor. Damn it. They have us cornered. There's the Reaper. <laughs> Taken by the trailer Garland. And is that the Icon Slayer? Oh, bollocks. Call for reinforcements. The hells you will.
Oh, nice. We've located the stolen Reaper. Requesting immediate assistance. Respond. Respond. It's no use, sir. There's some sort of interference. Curse you, Garland. No matter. If we can't reclaim it, destroy it. Well, now the... Now Maggie might change her mind. Bloody hells, Lavenza, protect the armor at all costs. Okay, it's probably going to be protecting it. It's going to wake it up or whatever. We cannot suffer the enemy to use our weapons against us. We're not undoing our hard work. They're on their own. We can take them. Okay, this looks to just be a real quick, easy one. Yep. That's actually funny. Something I didn't know, but I was reading an article. Um, I think it was Gamer Escape did an interview. Yeah, I think it was Gamer Escape did an interview with uh, Yoshi P and was asking, I think, about, you know, are there any update on like hairstyles and helms and stuff like that for the Viera and Hrothgar? And in it, um, Yoshida mentioned or talked about how they have to like rework how like I guess cut scenes and stuff like that work with Viera and their ears and I just noticed in that scene that like her head only takes up like the bottom third of the shot and then like the rest of it is ears so that's probably an example of it where instead of you know, keeping her more centered and just having the ears go off screen. They, which probably would have been a better shot versus like, no, we got to make sure to get all of the ears. Chief, look, she moved. Ah, now she deigns to grace us with her presence. Uh, it took us a good while, but we're finally ready. It's time to infiltrate cast from sentry and rescue our comrades gotta paint the ironworks logo on there there the finishing touch What do you think, Lavenza? She's a beauty, isn't she? Yeah, that's same. The servo mechanism is now fully functional, and all it took was a simple fight to the death. Remind me not to install a mammoth heart aboard the Enterprise, would you? Much as I love her, I would rather not be required to profess it before boarding. But enough of that. Let us see to our final preparations. Thanks to Biggs and Wedge, the Reaper is as good as new. We're as prepared as we're like to get. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, 
comment, and subscribe. And if you want to watch me live, you can find the link to my Twitch down below. Have a great one.